Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna give you the that from the total climbers point of view here. So we're starting off, we got a nice wide mouth beaner. We're gonna do the munter. So we're gonna clip the munter. Okay, we're gonna lock the gate. We're gonna snug it up. Okay, so let's just pretend that we're either repelling on a munter or we're belaying somebody on a munter. We want a position to continue the lower, so we, we let the munter flip. We let it flip through. And then we're creating this loop now. So I've got my left hand, I got my thumb up, and I'm gonna turn to create, see this loop, so that the, the loaded rope is on the outside, and then the loose rope is actually you know, coming through. So just to show you that, now I've got my fingertips so you can see that how we've created that loop. And I find it's easier just to turn your hand to create it. Because um, that's a real life scenario. So you've got the rope thumb up in your left hand, you bring your hand across, and then we're gonna bring this rope through gonna bring it through and we're gonna pull a bunch of rope through and then we're gonna snug it carefully to not let any slack out and then there is the first tie off now that's load bearing but we don't like that that's you know that's not good enough so so we're going to do another half hitch right next to the mule knot as a backup and we'll snug it down nice and close like that so there is the climber's point of view of the mule knot and now that is totally hands-free this is the first step uh, if you're belaying on a munter um, this is one of the first steps to uh, escape the belay you will also use the munter uh, to escape the belay in another way, which we'll show you later. But I wanted to show you that, you know, up close and personal now. So unloading it, same idea. So now we can see here, this is the, the loose end. And the one that's holding the load is right here. So we're going to pull through the slip knot here, nice and, nice and slow. We're going to get ready now. We know we're gonna we're gonna give a you know there's a little centimeter of slack that's gonna happen there. So we're we've got both hands. I'm gonna let go now. Ready and it's. Okay, now we're back totally on the munter, where we can either continue wrapping, or lowering, or we can take up the slack. That is the point of view to tie off the munter.